it's a lot quicker than having to pull the head off. You can switch the bits around. You can see how fast you can do that. Hey guys, Brad here with Skyline Construction. And today we're gonna to be looking at a screwdriver. Not a fancy review, just a simple Klein 11-in-1 screwdriver. Um, they always say what they are on the back here, it's pretty scratched out, but that's his 11-in-1. There's also a 10-in-1 out there. Um, and I've been using these probably, I don't know, at least 15 years. I love this screwdriver, especially now that it's the 11 in one. And it's been around for quite a while. Um, typically when I'm doing renovations, this is sitting in my left pocket. So I'll keep it right here. That's kind of just where it lives. I keep my knife on my right side, but my screwdriver is always on my left. And these are, these are Carhartts, by the way. Um, so it's just super handy to have and let's kind of get into it. I'll, I'll show you the dimensions on this first. We're looking at seven and a quarter long and it's about an inch and a quarter wide on the handle itself. So we'll go over all the positives and I only have maybe one negative about it, but it's not even really a negative. So let's get into it. Um, so it's an 11 to one. So you can take the, the head off or, or the handle off and then you've got all these drivers inside. Okay. So you've got your nut drivers here, the front and the back. Um, and then you've got driver here. So you've got a quarter inch, three eighths and five sixteenths. And I'll double check that, but I believe that's what they are. Um, and if I'm wrong, then we'll just put a little correction there. And then for bits, you've got all these little guys. And they have a little, I don't know if you can see it, but they have a little ball bearing in the middle of them. And that's what keeps them kind of locked in place. And I've never really had a ball bearing fail, and I, I've had at least five of these over the years, six of these maybe. Um, but what happens sometimes is if you're using a bit Let's say you're using this flat bit here and then you take it out because you need to use the driver, the hex driver here. This bit all of a sudden falls and gets lost and now you don't have a bit anymore. So luckily you can buy packs of these. Um, I've seen them at like the electrical stores like eCall here in Calgary um, where they sell these individually. And uh, I've had to buy a few because I just, I lose them, I drop them. But to have all these driver bits on you all the time is, is pretty sweet. And being a Klein tool, it's very strong. It's, it's just such a great screwdriver and it's quick. Once you use this a lot, you can switch bits out so fast. Um, I also have other styles of, of screwdrivers that where the top opens up and you've got all your bit storage in there. Uh, I have one by DeWalt, which maybe I'll do a review on. And they store all the little bits, but it's, you know, it's tight, it's finicky. Um, it's just kind of a pain in my butt sometimes. Whereas this, once you get good at it, you can, you can load it up and, and change bits pretty quick. So they give you a number one, number two, Robertson. You've got two sizes of Phillips right there, as well as two sizes of the blades. And then some, some Torx right here is two sizes and I rarely use this guy the Torx just because if I am driving screws like Torx screws I'm using usually a drill sometimes I guess I'll make a correction mechanical stuff there's a lot of mechanical stuff that that takes these little bits that I've started to notice and so I have used this a couple times but it's rare usually I'm using my Robertson bit or or my Phillips. Um, so yeah, so to put it all back together, there's no special order. You can put these bits in any, any one you want. And these have bearings on them as well. Now these are two different sizes, okay? And this shank here is two different sizes. So the larger one goes here, and that's a nut driver too. The smaller one goes over here. And that's it. So, you know, when you when you want to change a bit, you could just get pretty 
pretty quick at it. You know, it's a lot quicker than having to pull the head off, you can switch the bits around. You can see how fast you can do that. Right? It's very, very quick. Whereas if I had to like pull the head out, pull out the little bit, switch it over, you know, I'd rather just have a couple extra screwdrivers because that's just a pain in my ass. So um, that's why I've always loved this Klein tool, mainly just because it's quick. I've got all my main bits there. I'm not doing major production stuff with this screwdriver. Um, I'm also not doing any electrical panel work with this screwdriver. And the main reason for that is it's not insulated. You know, if you're, if you're doing electrical panel work, you want the proper screwdriver. These are handy maybe for take the panel off, but I would never go into a panel with this one. You want the insulated front on that or tape it up with electrical tape, whatever you want to do. Um, but also, this is kind of fat. And that's my one complaint about it, I guess, is it's about a half an inch thick. So a few times I've had to like get a screw that's really deep in something and I can't fit this in. So. You know, it doesn't work for everything. And this measures three inches from tip to, to handle. All right, so three inches long, half inch wide. So thicker than your average screwdriver. I think they're usually about a quarter inch wide. So you can slip them into any kind of narrow hole. But overall, this gets the job done. And, you know, if you're an apprentice or a guy just starting out or even you know, if you want to have a screwdriver for, for your toolbox at home, um, just to keep in the house or something, this is such a great screwdriver to have. You got all the bits you kind of really need. And if you wanted to get more bits, you can, you just put regular bits in here as well. You don't need to have the bearing. You can fit a regular uh, drill bit in there. Or you could put like an eight inch or a six inch uh, bit on there as well. So that is my favorite screwdriver out of all screwdrivers I've ever used, ever. This is the one. Um, we'll leave a link down below for you guys just to check it out. If, if there's some on Amazon, we'll, we'll put a link on there and uh, we'll put the code and all that good stuff. So hope you like the review. Let me know what screwdrivers you guys are using. And uh, if there's better ones out there than this, I'd love to know. Um, you know, you get kind of tunnel vision sometimes with your tools and, and what you like and what you don't like. And, and uh, yeah, I've just always stuck with this uh, Klein 11 in one. So until next time, guys, uh, give us a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, hit that notify bell and keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.